the youngest person to join um, and it was kind of funny because uh, all my like answers and testimonies that I shared was all to do with like school and I thought that nobody would relate to it but um, it was really nice um, to get to hear everyone's testimonies and uh, get to pray for the people in uh, your group um, and also because I was young I thought that I didn't have much like it might like my answers didn't have much value, but it says in the Bible that don't let anyone think less of you because you are too young. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but um, today I have the privilege of sharing with you all. Um, so growing up, I, I was kind of brought up into a Christian family. Um, my parents attended church, um, but once their life got a bit busy and they had me, they kind of became distant and. Um, but then my mom would always tell me about Jesus and so did my grandma. Um, they would always tell me to pray to Jesus. And my mom even got me this like children's Bible, although it wasn't really a Bible, it was like a cartoon kind of book. But I loved it so much um, to the point that I, I gave it to my dad because he wasn't really a Christian, he wasn't a believer. And even though I didn't know Jesus that much, I always knew as I was young that there was something so amazing about him um, and that in the future I would follow him. Um, but um, today I wanted to share with you what happened recently, uh, a few weeks ago. It kind of goes with the theme of precious teardrops. Um, so it was in church and it was uh, like towards the end of the service during worship time and um, I, closed my, I closed my eyes during the worship time, wanting to have a moment with God and to pray to Him as well. Um, but then all of a sudden, my eyes just like opened, but I, I didn't open them, like they just opened just like that. Um, and they were wide open, and I didn't know what was going through my mind. And then I eventually I closed my eyes, and then that's when tears just like kept flowing just for like no reason, I didn't know why. Um, and at the same time, like my lips were trembling, I couldn't like breathe properly. And because it was like worship time, my hands were like raised and I could feel this like, almost like pins and needle kind of sensation in my hands and especially the tips of my fingers. And even after the service, I sat back down and um, the tears were still flowing like, so much of it. I never cried that much before in my life. Um, and I asked my mom because I was so confused. I asked her like, why, why is it that I'm crying? Um, and she said, it's because God loves you. He's showing how much he loves you. Yeah, yeah. And for me, that was a reminder of God's love for me. Because I will admit like the past few months or even a year, I feel like I've not been prioritizing God, uh, keep getting distracted. And every time I want to, like, every time I want to draw closer and deepen my like relationship with him, it just never like worked out. So that was a, a nice reminder, and it was almost like a, a wake up call as well. It's like God telling me like, this is your time to just like step out, stop like living in fear or anxiety. Yeah. And Come on. to be honest, this is probably like my maybe second or third time that I've been asked to come um, and speak on Alpha Day. But um, every time I said, I don't know. One, because I didn't know if I was actually free. And two, because even though my heart was saying yes, my mind was uh, saying like no, and let my emotions and feelings like take over. And that's something that I've been struggling with because I feel like there's so much more that God wants me to do Amen. that my heart desires, but I, I keep like holding back. It's kind of like tug of war. Like I'm trying to like <laughs> step out, but I keep holding back. So um, that was from that moment. I've just been trying to deepen my relationship, and um, yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> 